What is going on guys, it's MKC Technology here. In this video, I'm gonna show you a custom PC build that you can build for $1,000. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos, comment down below on what you think about this video, but try not to put any bad comments. With that being said, let's get started. Now, starting off this PC build is the AMD Athlon X4950. Now, the reason I'm choosing this pro this processor out of all of the Ryzen processors that are out there is because it's the cheapest processor that you can get on the AM4 platform. Now, currently this processor's stock core frequency is 3.5 gigahertz. The turbo boost frequency is 3.9. The processor can be safely overclocked to 4.1 gigahertz, but I suggest overclocking it to 4.0 gigahertz. For the motherboard, I chose the Asus Prime B350 Plus motherboard. It does, it is on the AM4 platform. It does have a M.2 NVMe SSD slot. It has two X16 PCIe slots, two X8 slots, and two X1 slots. It does have 10 gigabit LAN. 8 USB ports in the rear, HDMI, VGA, and uh, DVI-D. For the RAM, I chose 16 gigabytes of Kingston Technology HyperX Fury RAM running at 2400 MHz on DDR4. For the storage, I chose a 500 gigabyte solid state drive from Western Digital. For the hard drive, I chose a 3.5 inch 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM internal hard drive. For the graphics card, I chose a GTX 1060 3GB Mini from Zotac. Now, the reason I chose this graphics card in specifically it, over the GTX 1050 Ti is because I realized that I needed just the right amount of graphics horsepower out of a GTX 1060 over a GTX 1050 Ti. Now, yes, the 1050 Ti could be a great graphics card that I could use, but it's just not a, the right amount of graphics, it doesn't have the right amount of graphics horsepower that I'm looking for. Now, I could have went with a better graphics card like the GTX 1070, 1070 Ti, 1080, 1080 Ti, Titan X, Titan X Pascal, or Titan XP. But, I went with this graphics card because, like I said, I realized that this is the best graphics card that I could choose for within the $200 range and in addition to that it does it does sport a six pin power connector three display ports DVI-D and a HDMI port as well for the tower I chose a S340 in black from NZXT now I don't know a lot about this case but I do know that it does uh, have the ability for you to put a ATX motherboard in there, EATX motherboard, or micro ATX motherboard in there as well. I do know that it has a, I believe, two USB 3 ports on the top as well as two USB 2.0 port ports on, on the top as well, as well as headphone and microphone jack and power and reset switch. For the PSU or power supply, I chose a Roswell Photon 550 watt fully modular bronze certified power supply so that is going to be it for today guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe to my channel all the links to my social media is in the description box down below so please be sure to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram with that being said it's mkc technology i'm out Brother, let's call it in the crossfire.